guys, Briar Go Killer. I'm headed off to work. I gotta work eight to eight. When I get done, we're headed to deer camp. For Deer Camp Chronicles 2015, part two. We're gonna turkey hunt. We're gonna plant some food plots. Hell or high water, we're getting the food plots planted this weekend. So, uh, stay with me. This ought to be good. Spring has sprung in the mountains of western North Carolina. Got some beautiful scenery coming up for you in the following video. So, stay tuned. This ought to be good. exactly what most people call a commute. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. Well, I'm exhausted, but I made it to deer camp. The five point. That was a long day. It's 11 o'clock. I rolled out the bed at 5.30 this morning. Anyway, lanterns are kicking. Nobody's been here since me. I got a trail camera down in the holler, but on a deer feeder, but just in the off chance there's a gobbler down there roosted. I don't want to go mess with him, so I'll check the camera in the morning. Be smarter than the camera. Format 480 pictures. Sweet. I'll take that. All right, I'm gonna change cards here. We'll take a look at these. Cool, huh?
plant these black old sunflowers because they're cheap. I just buy the bird seed. I don't buy the seed that's made for growing sunflowers. Just go buy the, the 50 pound bags of bird seed. You can get the better bags of bird seed, but I get germ good germination rate out of them, probably 80%. Um, and the deer eat them up so quick it don't matter anyway. But when you're sowing bird seed for deer, or, or black hole sunflower seeds for deer, put them three put three times as much as it calls for. Whatever the whatever it calls for when you're growing sunflowers, put three times that much. Because half of it's going to get eaten before it even germinates. Um, and then the deer just, they just eat them up so fast. So yeah, you gotta seed them thick, man. I haven't drug these down yet. I'm about to drag them down and cover them up now, but. Here's our other feeder. You can see the structure there. We got a two by eight nailed across two trees, hanging out, cantilevered out, and we got a two by four brace coming down. And then we got our boat winch on the side of the tree right here, going up to a pulley down to the feeder. And, uh, the first one we built was, uh, you know, we bolted a, a four by six up across two trees, 16 foot high, and it was just, it was kind of overkill, kind of ridiculous. And this, this has worked just as well, and it's a lot easier. You could do that with one person if you had to. Anyway. More 2000. This one stays at camp all the time. It's the official camp knife. Badass knife. grain patch. That stuff has really come on this spring. Anyway, there she is all drugged down flat. That little, uh, that little chain link gate with the 6x6 tied to it really does a good job of dragging and covering up seed. I mean, look, you can look right here. That was you know, there was a seed every inch, and now you can see like 10. And uh, 
great thing about it is day after tomorrow I'm supposed to get a rain so and I don't think it buried the seed too deep as far as like my clover's concerned nah see I mean this stuff's a half inch deep at the deepest probably like a quarter so we should get some food plot awesomeness out of this this year I can't wait to come back I will come back in about a month I think uh it's not quite a month, but it's a three day, uh, three weeks. I got uh, I got four days in a row off. I'm gonna come up here for at least a day, and uh, you know, fill the feeders up and check the status on these food plots. We may work on another food plot that's just upstream on this creek right here. It's upstream up there, about half a mile or so. One we've never planted before. But anyway, cool. Get my butt back to camp. Get my shit packed up. Cause I'm done. No need, no need for me to not sleep in my own bed tonight. When I get home, uh, when I go back to work, I gotta work three twelves in a row. So get as much rest as I can. Cool. Deer Camp Chronicles 2015, baby. I'm gonna show the whole process. We got stands to hang. We got another feeder to hang. <coughs> we got corn piles to put out. We got freaking trails to cut and maintain. Um. You know, quad trails. We got work we could do on the cabin. Anyway, just want to show you what it takes to have a decent place to hunt on private land. Those those guys out there who watch me and say, oh, you're a corn pile hunter, this, that, and the other. You don't know shit from Shinola. Because there's about 10 times worth more work that goes into killing a deer on a place like this than it does walking out there on the side of the hill in National Forest somewhere and killing one. I've been there and done that. Uh, 50 times um, this is way more rewarding for me uh, because you're growing them you know this is this is this is DIY as it gets right here I got a four-wheeler and a freaking weed eater you know so anyway cool well say goodbye to the beautiful springtime deer camp I'll be back in a couple weeks I kind of got what I needed to get accomplished accomplished and I got some stuff I need to get done at home too so anyway See you next time.